Jay and Beans. Yeah. Yo, all that's eventual. All I got to tell y'all is I told y'all in 2002 that y'all ain't believe me. I told y'all that nigga was a crap. Y'all ain't believe me. You know what I'm saying? How many accounts got to come up? Dane, Biggs, R. Kelly, Kiss, Beans. I mean, the list go on. That nigga's a crap. It ain't no hate involved, but you know, you gonna see. He's still biting my staff. Jazz O's the best. Secret Society with Jay-Z, man. He's involved. He's involved. Well, he's involved with... He's involved with this shit, man. He involved with that play shit. Like, see, people don't understand the science behind Satan, Lucifer, and God. And if you notice, he calls himself Jehovah or Hove. And before they started, before they started retranslating, you know, the, the New American version of the Bible, you know, Jehovah was known as a jealous God in the Bible. But I'm gonna give people the simple and general overstanding that all of those people, many of those prophets in the Bible, and even when you talk about these different deities in the Bible, they were not people. Even when you go to the Egyptian pantheon, like they weren't people. But as far as homeboy, like it's really a bunch of Masons. See, the whole Freemason thing is based on a lower level of understanding. Like the real secrets have never been revealed. They weren't supposed to be revealed. So all these people, they walking around like they know something for real, but they don't really know shit. You know, and he doing those little signs and all of that. Those are symbols that have been out there. They've been propagating them shits for a few thousand years. But number one, anybody who knows how magic knows that those shits don't have any power anymore. Number two, you know, um, everybody knows what they basically mean, like the understanding of it. Like, you know, as far as the pyramid and stuff like that, that I'm not really going to go into. But I'm saying that simply to say that dude think he knows shit, but he still don't, he still don't know shit. He could get as many degrees as he want, but it's just like trying to get all degrees you want, but you still got a ceiling. He can't go but so high because the people that he worshiping, that he kissing their ass and letting them fill them up and shit, they don't know shit. They trying to find out every day from us. That's why they follow him.
Saddam Hussein aids and protects terrorists, including members of Al-Qaeda. Secretly and without fingerprints, he could provide one of his hidden weapons to terrorists or help them develop their own. What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing! He said there were three main reasons for going to war in Iraq. Weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein has gone to elaborate lengths, spent enormous sums, taken great risks to build and keep weapons of mass destruction. The claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9-11. Before September the 11th, many in the world believed that Saddam Hussein could be contained. And that Iraq had purchased nuclear materials from Niger. The regime is seeking a nuclear bomb. Uh, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. Uh, first, uh, just if I might correct a misperception, I, I don't think we ever said, at least I know I didn't say, that there was a direct connection between September the 11th and, 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 and Saddam Hussein. Who does the president think he's effing kidding? Uh, of course, it was information that was mistaken. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> Nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. When you have a precedent set like that, and you have somebody, George Tennant, acknowledging in his book that he knew that the administration was deceiving the American people into a situation that is murdering young men and women from this country and others, that George Tennant and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and George Bush et al. should be in fucking jail. I'm as bad as hell, but I'm not going to...